A group of grandmothers is planning to walk over 600 kilometres from Melbourne to Canberra in a dramatic protest against the treatment of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The First Nations Women of Australia ceremonial Walk for Freedom will set off on Monday and expects to arrive in the capital six weeks later. But their protest won't end there, with the group then planning to renounce their Australian citizenship and hand back their birth certificates and driver's licences to the Attorney General. I spoke to Auntie Susan Rankin to find out more about their plans. Yeah, Natalie, look, as, 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 as mothers, grandmothers, sisters, aunties, we've just had, we just can't bear the pain anymore of the pain and suffering of our people and Mother Earth. We're tired of putting our trust and faith in a system that is the cause of our people's pain and suffering. We, we, the walk is called First Nations Ceremonial Women's Walk for Freedom and we say freedom from an alien law system that is not of our own choosing. As Aboriginal people, we are a spiritual people. We are bound by the first law for this land and it is spiritual and it is universal through the universal rule of natural law and I can't be a part of this system anymore. Um, there's a whole group of us that are, will be denouncing or rescinding ourselves from this system. So just to clarify, you are planning on, on giving up your Australian citizenship? That's right, love. Australian citizenship. I mean, who? Australian. Who are the aliens here? We are the first people, the sovereign people to these lands. Um, Australian citizenship, that was not a choice for me. They did not ask me, did I want to become a citizen of an illegal occupying government that does not have a legal jurisdiction? Um, I've done no swearing in ceremony. I have not sworn my allegiance to this system and its laws. I'm swearing my allegiance to the first law, Creator Spirit's law. They want to call him all different kind of language names. There's only one Creator Spirit. So I've had enough love. I can't bear it anymore. There are experts out there that say under law that you simply can't give up your citizenship and that the government won't recognise it. Does that deter you at all? Not at all, darling. We are, ba we are bound again by the first law, spiritual law, the universal rule of natural law. They want to base the constitution upon the Ten Commandments, then they can give back what they stole to our people. We are a free people. None of us should be paying rent on our inheritance. It's given to us by birthright for free. Whatever they say, it means nothing to me because they do not even have a legal jurisdiction in a land that they still technically cannot produce the documents of consent for free of duress and any undue influence. So it does not matter what they say. I don't want their money, I don't want their system. I'll walk out with the clothes upon my back and put faith in Creator Spirit and Mother Earth through nature to provide for me like they always did in the past. If I have to be the fool to step out front and lead the way and lead our people out of this system, then so be it. And after you get to Canberra, Auntie, and you've renounced your, your citizenship, what is the plan then? My plan is to go back out, occupy all vacant land, all state parks, natural reserves and set them up as self-sufficient, self-sustainable, dry healing camps, creating our own economy through ecotourism. We have the gifts, the skills, the brains within our own culture to do this. Independent from government funding, as long as we need government funding, that is the chains around our neck.